Hello everyone, Jennifer Maker here. Have you ever lost your fonts in Cricut Design Space? Yes, if so, you are not alone. And as there's a new Cricut Design Space update rolling out just for fonts, I thought this was a great opportunity to show you how to find your fonts in Cricut Design Space for desktop. First, let's take a look at the updated fonts menu here in Cricut Design Space. To see it, I'm going to click on text over on the left to add some text to this project. Once this text box appears, we can start typing immediately to enter our text. If we want to edit this, we can just double click it. Now to select a font, click on the fonts menu right here in Cricut Design Space. This is the new fonts menu that is rolling out with the update. If your Cricut Design Space version doesn't look like this, just give it a little time and you'll get this update too. So by default, the fonts menu shows you Cricut fonts as indicated by the first tab on the left right here. If you're trying to find your fonts installed on your computer, they will not show up in this first list as this first list is only Cricut fonts. To find your installed fonts, click on System right here. Under the System tab, you can scroll through the list. It's in alphabetical order, but it's faster to search for the font you want. For example, if I want to search for the font that I designed, which is called Maker Pen Writing, I can type Maker into the search bar here and either click on this magnifying glass icon or simply press Return or Enter on my keyboard. My font pops up right away and you can then just click it to select it. Your text changes instantly to your font. This font, by the way, is a single line writing font based on my own handwriting. I made it to help me fill out Christmas present tags one year um, and I use it for cards as well using my Cricut. You're welcome to use it too and you can get this writing font free over on my blog at jennifermaker.com slash writing dash font. But let's take another look at the font menu because there's more I want to show you. Let's clear out the search by clicking on the X and look closer at the Cricut fonts list by clicking on the Cricut tab at the top. Again, the Cricut fonts list is the default list. It's the one that you'll see when you first open up your fonts menu. Just like with the system fonts, you can scroll or search the Cricut font list. This is a very long list, so it can be hard to find the Cricut font that you want. I have three big tips to help you find the font you need. First, uncheck the box next to Kerned. By default, the Cricut font list will only show you Kerned Cricut fonts. Kerned fonts are awesome, but not all fonts are Kerned, and keeping that checkbox checked means you are not seeing all the fonts. And by the way, if you don't know what a current font is, it just means the characters are spaced proportionately from one another and they tend to look better. But there's plenty of awesome fonts that don't have kerning. So if you don't see the font that you need, click off kerned so you see everything. Second tip, use the filters option over here on the right. Clicking filters brings up the ability to filter by a variety of types, including writing fonts, one of my favorites, and free fonts. So when I click on free, I see all of the free Cricut fonts available right now. You can also combine filters so we can look for free writing fonts by checking both free and writing. And when you're done filtering, just click on clear all to see everything again. Third tip. Use the newly introduced bookmarks tab. So whenever you see a font that you like, whether it's a Cricut font or a system font, you can click on this new bookmark icon here on the right side. Then click on the bookmarks tab at the top of your fonts window to see all of your bookmark fonts. This is the solution for everyone who has ever been frustrated over how long it takes to scroll the fonts list to find what they want. Just bookmark your favorites and go right to it when you need a font. Much, much faster. And the nice thing is that once you've selected a font, clicking on text again in the same session will automatically default to the last font you picked. Super easy. 
Now, there's just one caveat to the bookmarks that I want you to be aware of. If you bookmark a system font, the bookmark is only saved on that one computer or device, since fonts are specific to our computers and devices, right? So if I bookmark my Maker pen writing font here on my Mac at home, but then go to my studio's computer, I won't see the bookmark unless I also bookmark it over there. And I also won't see the bookmark on my iPad or my Android tablet unless I also install and bookmark it on those devices as well. Now let's talk about installing new fonts. System fonts must be installed on your device before you can access them here in Cricut Design Space. I won't go over the installation in this video, but I do have another video you can watch to learn how to do that over at jennifermaker.com slash upload font. If you already know how to install fonts, or you just Googled how to do it, you might be tempted to just install them like normal, and then head right into Cricut Design Space, expecting them to show up instantly. But it's important to know that you need to restart Cricut Design Space for your system fonts to appear. So if ever a font that you know you've installed cannot be found, make sure you've both restarted Cricut Design Space and also clicked on the system tab in your fonts list. Installed fonts will not show up in the default Cricut fonts tab. And don't get confused by the downloads filter in the Cricut font list. That simply refers to Cricut fonts that you've downloaded for offline use, not fonts that you've downloaded from somewhere else. Remember, any fonts you install will appear in your system fonts list right here. And one last thing, how do you find a font that you've already used in a design but just can't quite remember the name of? There is totally a way to do this too. First, if your text layer is still set to type, meaning you haven't welded or sliced it, the font name appears right in the layers panel for each text layer. For example, Design to Shine here is set in Cricut Sans, which we can see at the top of the layers panel. To identify which layer is which, either click the text layer to highlight it or match up the first character of the text with the display character in the layers panel, in this case, the letter D. But what if you've already welded or sliced your font? I'm happy to report that there's also a way to tell which font you used so you can recreate it. Locate the weld layer with the text, right click on the layer name with your mouse, if you're using a laptop without a mouse, no worries. Just press the bottom right of a Windows laptop touchpad or press with two fingers on a Mac laptop touchpad. And choose Image Info at the very bottom. A box will appear that shows you what font was originally used. Awesome, right? I love this feature. It's actually been here for as long as I've been using Cricut Design Space. It's just kind of hidden. Now, I know this is a lot to remember, so I made you something to help, a Cricut font cheat sheet. You can get my principal Cricut font finder free over at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut font finder. This 12 page guide not only shows you how to find and bookmark fonts, but it also shows you how to find fonts and projects that you've made in the past. Great for when you forget what font you welded or sliced with, how to find new fonts to use, how to add a new font in either Windows or Mac, how to make lists of Cricut and system fonts to refer to more easily, and lists of my own favorite fonts. Everything from bold and chunky fonts for labels and signs, handwriting and cursive fonts that are current and look amazing, pen-friendly fonts to use on your next Cricut Pen Project, and vinyl-friendly fonts that are easier to weed. Get it now at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Font Finder. There are no strings attached. If you have any questions about finding fonts, just let me know. Leave your question below this video or ask over in our awesome Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. We have over half a million Cricut Crafters ready to help and inspire you. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.